What is up everyone, Free Kill here. This is how to obtain all the Dragon Balls in Dragon Ball Z Universe. Simply load up the second parallel quest mission in the game. You can obtain this mission by simply beating the first parallel quest mission in the game. You can do this at any level as long as you have the mission unlocked. You can do this offline or online, doesn't matter. Uh, you can do this with uh, companions or not, doesn't matter. I'm simply loading this up by myself right now. I recommend doing this mission offline um, because if uh, the player NPC does not spawn, all you have to do is uh, retry the mission, which you can only do if you're playing by yourself. Uh, pretty simple mission, all you gotta do is kill these three characters, which are pretty much the weakest characters in the game, kick their ass. Uh, I normally just kill Krillin, Tien, and Yamcha, it doesn't really matter, but just take out the characters and there will be pretty much a 1 in 3rd chance that this player NPC will spawn. Uh, player doesn't spawn, like I said, just simply pause the game and retry, kill these three characters again, and he should spawn. That's about one every third time, if not right away. But right there, as you see, once you kill them all, the portal will open, and about three seconds later, there's a chance that that player right there will spawn. It could be a different character every time, different looks, it could be different levels, but the um, point is, you want that character to spawn. Go up to him, challenge them to a battle, and then simply kick their ass. As I said, once you kick their ass, they will drop uh, two items. One will be uh, a material item, the other one could potentially be a key item, which would be the Dragon Ball. So as you see right here, I get a material item, and then I get a key item, which is the 7 star Dragon Ball right now. Um, you'll never get duplicate balls, so you just, if you get 7 key items, you got all 7 Dragon Balls, so it's pretty nice. Once you collect uh, the items from that player, go ahead and finish the mission. All you gotta do is go through the portal there, take out Gohan, take out Piccolo, normally not that hard. I would like to note though that if you do happen to kill Piccolo in under 5 minutes, there is a chance that Goku will spawn. Um, this doesn't affect anything really, just an extra guy you have to fight in order to beat the mission. Uh, like I said, once you get that key item, you have the Dragon Ball, all you have to do is beat the mission and the rest of it's pretty easy. But again, if you're at a low level doing this, you're having some trouble killing the enemies, uh, just go ahead and bring some high level companions or good companions with you. Uh, if anything, they make good distractions and you can just kai blast the enemies from the fire. Doesn't really matter, the point is you just gotta beat the mission. God, I love that attack. To be honest, I think that's my favorite attack in the game. But as you can see here, Goku spawns, uh, not a big deal. Just simply take him out. No reason to go easy on each other. Know what I mean? Since Goku asked for my best, I go ahead and go Super Saiyan and repeatedly try to times 100 Big Bang come on my ha. But I guess he was obviously teasing me since he's just kind of floating around. Take a little person in and kick his ass. Doesn't look like I should hold back here. But, as you see, when you beat the mission here, in the acquired items list, it will show that I have received a 7 star Dragon Ball. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some more examples though, uh, just to prove that you can get it from this mission, you can get all the Dragon Balls, any Dragon Balls from this mission. Uh, doesn't matter if you kill Goku or not, but right here is where I get the 1 star Dragon Ball. I did this at level 17, I had 2 companions, so again, none of that matters. Right here is a 3 star Dragon Ball, pretty much same thing again, uh, happen to be fighting Goku, clear that, and I get the 3 star Dragon Ball. Yes, perfect! That's my apprentice! And again, one more time. Um, this time I just take out Gohan and Piccolo and the mission ends. Absolutely rape him with the best attack in the game, just saying. And, uh, acquire the 5-star Dragon Ball. Not bad. Like I said, pretty simple. Uh, easiest way, quickest way to do in the game. You can do this probably under an hour. And you can get all the Dragon Balls. Uh, I just spread it out because I was enjoying playing the game. and Didn't really have a need to try and get them right away, but... Again... Uh, this is by far the quickest and easiest way to get them. So going ahead and summoning Shenron, uh, just go to the podium in the tower and uh, place all the Dragon Balls and you can summon Shenron and make uh, one of uh, several wishes 
they're kind of vague, so I will go ahead and explain them to you. The first one is uh, wishing for money. Rumor is he'll give you five million zenny. My friend did it. He said he only got five hundred thousand. So be careful with that one. Um, second one, give you a uh, power pole, which is just an item that you stick on your back. So if you're a fan, that's just uh, nostalgia for you. I want to dress up is a journey from the west outfit, which kind of sucks, but again, that's just all fandom. I want to grow stronger, we'll give you some diesels. I want to grow, we'll put you up one level. If you're at 80, it doesn't matter. Ultimate and Super, we'll give you packs of three of each. Uh, you can only do that twice. Usable Character, we'll give you three possible characters. Second Chance at Life, lets you respec all your attributes. And the last one lets you uh, customize your character's appearance one more time. Uh, the three characters you can possibly get, which is what I choose, is Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, uh, Super Android 17, and then Omega Shenron, in that order, depending on, you know, which wish you're on. So, since this is my first wish, I go ahead and go for that, and I get Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, which is what I wanted anyway, he's my favorite character in the series, so I was super excited about that. So, of course, then, I have to uh, go and test him out. And, uh, here's a little treat for you guys then, so I figured I'd test him out against Super Saiyan God, Goku, see which one is stronger, you know, put that, uh, debate to, uh, test. But, in my opinion, Super Saiyan 4, Kojita's definitely the better of the two, uh, that's just personal bias there, I just think he's the most badass character ever. Uh, right there you get the bluff Kamehameha, just like the movie, which is pretty awesome. It can stun him if you can hit the enemies. And you get your big bang Kamehameha, which obviously can engulf uh, other enemies' Kai Blast, weaker ones. And then his ultimates are uh, Super Kamehameha, or, yeah, Super Kamehameha, and then a times 100 big bang Kamehameha, which is by far my favorite move in the game, and I think the best move ever in the series is just the most badass thing ever, like how can you not love that? Um, so obviously I just toy around with God Goku here a little bit because, you know, he's nothing compared to my Gogeta. Yeah. Totally psych him out with a Super er, Kamehameha and times 100 big bang him from the side. But, again, thanks for watching everyone. If you like it, please share and subscribe. Um, and let me know in the comments who you thought should have really won this battle um, in the series or in general. Who's your favorite character? And yeah, just be curious to see. Obviously, my favorite uh, Gogeta. Look at that. He gets all of God Goku's moves, but better, you know. Gets a Super Kamehameha. He doesn't get the Spirit Bomb, but still pretty badass. Right now, I'm just toying with him a little bit, making him act like uh, he can actually do something, because obviously by now, he probably wouldn't even be God mode anymore. He gets like five minutes, I like get half an hour. Clearly, I'm the better. But as you see, I finished this off with a Super Kamehameha, completely engulfing his Kamehameha, and completely wrecking him. Thanks again for watching, everyone. See you next time.